All right, this is going to be a quick unit uh, lesson on basic ecology, focusing on the levels of organization within the big study of ecology. Uh, this will be chapter three out of our biology textbook. So let's start off with talking about what is ecology. Ecology, as you break it down, eco meaning ecosystems, ology meaning the study of, so we're talking about the study of interactions between organisms themselves and between organisms and their actual physical environment or the um, abiotic factors in a given area. Now we will be studying living organiza uh, organisms and their interactions with um, themselves and the um, abiotic factors, but as we refer to life as a whole on Earth, we call it the biosphere. And the biosphere is what we're going to focus our study on uh, for ecology. Now that is in, uh, in and of itself is broken down into other levels um, and organized um, as such. Now we're going to start off with the smallest organization and work our way back to the big organization called the biosphere. The first um, level that we talk about is the individual level where we see a group of organisms that are similar to each other that can breed and, and actually produce fertile offspring. So um, we're talking about the individual types of tigers. We're talking about like the zebra mussels and the different individual um, mussel um, the rhinoceros, maybe we're talking about um, a species of, uh, in this case, a lowland gorilla. And they're all able to um, individually breed within themselves and produce offspring that will continue to have babies um, that, are, that look like themselves. Now, there are organisms that will try to get together and have offspring. Sometimes it'll be um, successful. Um, in this case, you see the, the bear and the tiger cozying up each other. That's probably not going to work. However, we might get a species um, that are real similar to each other, like the zebra and the donkey, that may actually end up with an offspring. Um, however, most of those offspring that are produced will never reproduce again. So they'll be, they'll be sterile. Um, and that's the way life, um, how life keeps itself together or maybe you'll have a human get together with a horse like a centaur did of course a fictional character but again that idea has been around for uh, many many years and um, and most of the time it doesn't work and if it does work it produces offspring that are not uh, fertile so uh, from species then we have groups of species okay which we're going to call populations and populations is a group of individual individuals in a species that belong to the same um, try that again, a group of individuals that belong to the same species and live in the same area. Okay, so we have, uh, let's say for instance, a field of sunflowers. That is a spe that is a population of sunflowers in that particular area. Or maybe we're talking about a, um, some ants or uh, some deer. Okay, but those are all examples of individuals belonging to the same species living in the same area, which we're going to call a population. Okay, now we're going to take it up one level. So we started off with individuals. Now we have groups of individuals living in the same area. Now we'll have a community, which is an assembly of the different populations in a given area. Okay, so it's an assembly of different populations that live together in a defined area. So maybe we have um, this picture, which looks a lot like what we saw in The Lion King. Um, here's the, um, um, a bunch of different populations living together in this area, um, around the, in this case, around the watering hole. So now we have communities that are a, a, a combination of a bunch of populations living in the same spot. Now we have an ecosystem. An ecosystem brings it out a little bit more uh, wider yet, and now it's all the organisms that live in a place together with their physical environment. So now we look at a community, now we're talking about its physical environment, um, the, the um, abiotic factors that go along with it. And you can see some examples of ecosystems that um, are present. Okay, specific places um, with the communities there along with their physical environment. And finally, we get down to biome. A biome is a bunch of ecosystems that share the same climate and typical organisms. Okay, so uh, we have things like the alpine, the tundra, the prairies, 
the oceans, the tropical rainforests, the temperate forests, the boreal forests. So those are our biomes um, that exist in our world. So now we've taken it out, and the next step then would be to our biosphere, which is, encompasses all the living things on Earth. Now, the basis of all interaction, of all these interactions that we're going to study in ecology, is going to be revolved around the idea of energy. How they get it, this need to obtain it, um, the use of, and it comes down to that. And that's, so that's where the basic interaction happens in each of those levels and how we are going to study those in ecology. That will be the next lesson that will be available in our video series.